Hello, everyone. Thank you all for your patience. And now, this. Wait, do I talk now? I, that, that, that was my intention. <laughs> yeah, feel I, I didn't know our mics are hot. Hi. Hey. Hi. It's three in the morning. Hello. Uh, I'm Shavda. And? Yeah, there we go. We uh, this is Invictus by uh, uh, Judd's Cook, a, uh, an Australian bloke. Who uh, makes ROM hacks? Are we ready to start? <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Oh, right now singing. I think we're ready. Uh, <laughs> do you all want me to count you in, or do you want to do it yourself? I'll I'll count down. It'll be on go. Okay, ready. Three, two, one, go. Run's over, we got Hidden Mario percent. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> All right, now we're good. No, yep, we, we, yep, we that's it. The game. That yeah. is uh, the most important part of the speed run. We did it. I'm proud of us. I did Anyhow, the anyhow uh, I'm Shavda, and this is my Let's Play. Um, <laughs> this is, like I said, this is Invictus. This is the first time she's ever played this game. <laughs> it might be my Let's Play. Okay. Anywho, this is Invictus. This is uh, by Judd's Cook, like we said. It's also one of the first major, I guess, uh, like chocolate hacks that really brought custom mechanics or chocolate mechanics into the ROM hacking scene. And it's kind of like a big marker for that reason. Oh my. This is going really well so far. Oh, hey, there's a G Breeze fish there. Wow. It's a, G it's a G breeze fish, not a barb fish. Oh. This is. <laughs> okay, okay, I need to calm my nerves down. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. You're, you're good, sweetheart. You got this. But yeah, um, so this hack begins looking fairly vanilla, or again, uh, using just properties that are in the original Super Mario World. But over time, as we will see, it becomes more and more chocolate or custom. Ugh. So this first level... Hmm? I actually don't know what this first level is called offhand right now. Uh, Piranha Pipeway. Piranha Pipeway. That's it. Uh, that makes sense, considering the piranhas and the pipes. And, and, and pipes. And yeah. the pipes, don't forget those. Alright, so it's kind of, I guess, a trope in uh, ROM hacking at this point in Kaizo. The first level has to be really fast paced and uh, lots of jumping off of moving platforms and over and under things just really quickly. You don't really want a slow auto scroller. Uh, according to Amethyst. Level. According to Amethyst, all Kaiser levels are auto-scrollers, to clarify. Prove, prove me wrong. All right, so we get a little prove bit of wrong. custom here. I challenge you. I don't want to. Uh, <laughs> uh, the, the customness here, you can see that the speed changes based on where the snake block uh, goes when it hits the minus versus the plus. Um, and actually, the snake block taking this pattern is uh, custom as well. In Vanilla Mario, there's only, I believe, two patterns for moving snake blocks that create blocks and two for ones that eat blocks. Something like that. Hot lunar magic lore. Yep. Shoved to the checkpoint! Oh my gosh, what are you thinking? Oh yeah, Juz made it so that anytime you enter a new sub-level with a couple... One? One exception, maybe? I think technically two, but it's really hard to avoid the uh, checkpoint in one by one. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's... Uh, I can word. 
each each time you enter each time you enter a new sub level it uh gives you an automatic checkpoint yeah Dietry is the well-known one yeah uh i think you have to actively avoid the checkpoint in one by one <laughs> yeah that makes sense then again yeah. it's hard enough to jump up and hit it in the first place exactly that jump is already difficult <laughs> uh did you know that you can do a key jump here i am not going to but uh people wow. like to tell me that uh <laughs> wow shabda have you even played this rom game before oh i can't believe you're second. not i can't believe you're not key jumping what do i look like dode <laughs> no thankfully wow that <laughs> wow Level's called one by one. I call it the Mega Man level because I you are am... going between. Sorry. I was gonna say I am sad. You keep going, please. <laughs> uh, wow. Where am I going with that? Oh yeah, because uh, you have these uh these one screen rooms that you transition in between. <laughs> Believe you and, me, and I know the, a lot uh, about transitioning. <laughs> I threw the softball as low and slow as I could, and you just and you just got it. I'm so proud of you. Right out of the park. <laughs> but yeah, uh, it's it's named after a a, a a a Foo Fighters song. Is it an album? Album. I know the difference between the song and the album. I like music. I did once. Yeah, I'll listen to his video game music now. Oh, it happened. It happened. It happened. I got juzzled. This is a jingly juzzled. hack, friendo. <laughs> I can't believe I can't believe this happened. Uh so I believe Barb started the uh, janky hack might thing. Uh, apologies for the absolute worst Australian accent you'll hear outside of Dread Pirate Harkness Jaws. But to be fair, it's you're always gonna have a better Australian accent than Harkness. Yeah. So you can at least at least aspire to that. But yeah, and somehow it evolved. Oh, okay, uh, into. <laughs> Wow! Um, <laughs> I don't think you could have cut that any closer. <laughs> yeah, that was that was good. Uh, but what was I gonna say? Uh, we've developed it into um, uh, Jingly Hack Friend or Friendo, and uh, part of this is well, not because of it developed into. There's an Australian basketball player in the NBA by the name of Joe Ingles, and because somebody said Jingly Hack Friend. I uh, photoshopped an image so that uh, this you got jingled meme is now you got juzzled. I'm really and glad instead of talking about the level, we talked about an Australian <laughs> basketball player. Uh, I, I uh, am a connoisseur of memes that take two very disparate areas of life and combine them. Uh, this is sewer smashing. We're doing the secret exit, which is silly. It has horizon. Thank you, Tofu. Um, <laughs> it it has uh, horizontal wrap here and trolls because Judd's cook is a meanie face. Yeah. Oh yeah. So let's let's talk about some differences uh, between the 1.0 of this hack and uh, 1.1 of this hack. Uh, there are added trolls between the two versions because isn't that nice how many how many i don't even know uh there's that one and then there's the uh penguin in the ice level at the end of the ice level <laughs> excuse me bumpy oh wow did i just get did i just get well actually good lord Am I ah right judge you're not supposed to hit me with that 
no, no Kaiser blocks, just wing blocks. Yeah, there are no Kaiser blocks in this hack. Fun hey. fact. If you like our banter, uh, stay tuned for my Grand Prix World 2 run tomorrow, because Shubbed will be on my couch for that. Yeah, and I will be more tired, and Amethyst will hopefully be less tired. I will be exhausted tomorrow. <laughs> hope, hope you like Scuff Kaizo. Also, this is uh, uh, why nobody likes Map 16 edits, which is just changing uh, what something in uh, Mario looks like, but keeping wow. the other, like all the actions. I can't believe you didn't yump. I uh, I haven't been able to yum since the accident. I'm so sorry. I should have been more sensitive. It's okay. It's Anywho, oh, okay. no, no, no. Anywho, this is sewer smashing, and uh, you can tell uh, by the way that it is that it's an accurate name. It's a sewer, and there's a layer two smash. Uh, yep. This this level is. I believe inspired by a level in a uh, super glitch cat world by Nexus. Oh, huh. I did not know that. Yeah, there's a there's a level very much like this in glitch cat world. Which uh, is a hack that Jez likes a lot. Is this also a level that's inspired by Hyperalgia or whatever it is from Idol? Which which one? What? Hyperosia, hyperosia. Oh, not not this one. Not this no. one. There's some other ones, but yeah, that is definitely another influence. Okay. Also, storks. I don't know if y'all know this, but if you look really Let's closely, talk about stork snakes and crocodiles. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. If you look closely, some of the levels in this hack look a little bit like levels from storks, but only if you uh, oh. look very closely. Yeah. You wouldn't necessarily know uh, unless you've played Storks, all the uh, callbacks and references. Yeah, and it should be noted that that is not a bad thing. Joe's actually makes uh, Storks uh, qualities, properties, uh, tricks or mechanics or whatever into a more accessible version. Morsel is notorious for being uh, very hard to figure out as far as levels, and Invictus is not a beginner hack, but definitely something that you can come to earlier in your Kaizo career. Yeah, Morsel Oops. half... Ooh, oh, oh. Wow. Yeah, not happy about that. Well, uh, yeah. Ooh. But uh, Storks is one of Jez's favorite hacks, and you can definitely see a, a lot of influence. And also a lot of... Uh, a lot of uh, tempering of some of Morsel's worst qualities and making things as oh, as God. Byzantine as possible. That jump, that, that wow. jump, jump off the saws is uh, kind of rough. <laughs> Almost as Byzantine as the word Byzantine. You know, right? This is going well. Um... <laughs> No, yeah, that spin jump of the saw, it's actually just a really big re-grab, and right now my thumbs uh, don't want to do what I'm trying to tell them to do. Which is very unfortunate when you're trying to speedrun a video game. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about the death loop, since we're in one. Oh yeah, Kaizo death loop. Fun fact, if you don't... Oh, we're dead there again. If you don't first try a level in a Kaizo hack, especially during a speed run, you will not be able to beat it for at least 15 more attempts. Yeah. There's, uh, especially in Kaizo hacks, there's a lot of dependence on muscle memory. So if you start uh, dying and throwing off your muscle memory, you start to get into worse and worse death loops. So it's, it is very typical to, once you die a couple times, just continue to die over and over but it's normal it's part of the kaizo experience it's all good i should say that this level's really hard invictus is not an easy hack and shoved is doing a great job oh my gosh what am i doing <laughs> 
but yeah, no, no, uh, no controller blame. I do have chat up. I can see it. Uh, no controller blame. It's actually a really nice controller. I had it custom made by I have one big eye. Oh yeah, shout out to I have one big eye. He's he is uh really good with that stuff. Yep, this is actually uh, SNES guts put into a Switch Pokémon controller. It sure is. It sure is, Zoe. Yep. There we go. Juz Juz does like the Blamus controller. Don't you have one from I have one? Heck yeah. Good job, Chef. Nice. <laughs> yep, Apologies noise. for that noise. Yep. Oh. It's okay. You get you get one. You get one? You get one. Per world? Nope. Per speed run. Uh this is built to fall. Built right? to fall. This is one of my favorites. Uh, I love this level. Yeah, mine too. But uh, Juz said recently that he did not put any sideways thwomps in his hack. Um, and I get what he's saying. He's saying that these are all four directional thwomps that will switch after one, one uh, smash. But like, you cannot tell me that these are not uh, in practice sideways thwomps. Hey. He's technically correct, which is the best kind of correct. In there. Heck yeah, Shell. Well, this boss is a thing. <laughs> yep, if you just slightly delay your uh, jump over each time. Oh, come on. Jump over each time, it uh, usually works out. Resmore platforms are very difficult to to uh oh to deal with sometimes because sometimes uh, Mario's head goes onto the platform and nothing happens. That's fun, especially in Grandpa World 2, where there's like 18 Resmore bosses. Yeah. Counted. And I actually took the death there because it didn't really matter. I would have to wait for the full cycle anyhow. Valid. Yeah. Gg. Bum, 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 ba -dum. Uh, what level is coming up next? Oh yeah, Plumber's Nightmare. Yes, Plumber's this is Nightmare. Toho music. Yes, this is Toho music. Yes, Toho those are trumpets. Music, you don't, you, yeah, tr trumpet warning. Uh, literally every time I've done a run of this in the last week, somebody has asked if this is Toho music. It's always Toho music. It's always Toho music. Oh, no singing. Thank you. I can't. I can't sing with the double D sync. <laughs> I love this. I love this level so much. This is my favorite level in the hack. Yes, Joseph. It's Toho music. <laughs> this oh, good. level has really. Oh. This level has really. Oh. Uh, really cool use of fast pipes. Yeah. Um, yeah. They're used often to uh, set up, make sure the setups for the next tricks are consistent so that there's as little jank as possible. That said, this slope right here is fairly jank. It's been made less jank in 1-1, one, one, but if you jump where the coins are, you have to do a really weird re-grab. And if you jump slightly after them, then you don't. Which is to say, oi, janky hack might. I believe it's Jingly Hack Friendo. Jingly Hack Friendo. <laughs> I don't even know what accent that was trying to be. Is that Liverpool? What was that? Ah, uh, yeah, sure. That was Ringo Star. <laughs> uh, these jumps off of these fast falling platforms, though, are honestly anxiety inducing and super annoying especially that one Star yeah um it's funny a little bit when it's in this level but then when you get them in other levels or in every level as in some other hacks wow i just don't want to play the hack anymore <laughs> but yeah it's a motif here i guess which makes it okay yeah just like, just because you go. Yeah. Uh, I like that. Uh, so very often, especially recently in recent Kaizo hacks, I, I will play I will play fast pipe levels that just like dump me out immediately onto death. 
Uh, I I feel like a, the vast majority of the setups in this level avoid that. Yep. Which is nice. Oh, hey, a troll. That that thwomp moves to the side because it's, actu- it's, it's, it's not a sideways thwomp. I actually... Um... <laughs> For the for the troll with the spikes, I actually look away from the screen at the end because it's just hold left, hear pipe sound, hold right, and I forgot that that troll was there. Nice. So you you said that, and I was like, oh yeah, right. <laughs> uh, this is is this claustrophobia? Um, inspired by a hack by Naro Google, and uh, named claustrophobia, and it's also. Notorious for if you're good at the level, you don't hear. We're going to hear it. Um, uh, melody of shame. The melody of shame. We're going to hear a lot of the melody of shame, which is uh, why my split is called the pre-chorus, actually. Oh, in there. Oh. Wow, that was fun. Did you know that uh, Barb was going to use the song for Grand Pool World 2, and then he heard it in this level and decided it did not fit Grand Pool World 2 at all? <laughs> Wasn't it because he finally heard the... Uh... He heard the melody of shame. and just... Yep. yep. <laughs> it's not because it was in Invictus. It's cause... It wasn't because it was in Invictus. It's because he heard the chorus. And he's like, oh no, <laughs> that does not fit. Yeah, but why do they call it Invictus when you Invict the Outis, Outvict the Kaizo Jump? Uh, you know, it's a question that's been plaguing philosophers uh, for thousands of years. I believe uh, I believe Descartes had an uh, answer to that in... Uh, or I, I have no philosophy. I have no nothing about philosophy, so... I, I, that's, as, that's as far as I'm getting. <laughs> I in, therefore I Victus. There you go. Ooh, up pipe. When you invict the cold gameplay, out Vic Hot kill the Kamek. I have a <laughs> I have a, a head cannon about Kamek in this fight or in this game, by the way. Ooh, t- tell us the head cannon. All right. So somebody at one point made the joke that uh, uh, Kamek is the boss of this because uh, uh, Kamek is. Uh, Juz's ex-girlfriend that uh, he oh. makes yeah he makes the bosses his ex-girlfriends this is just randomly in his chat one night and I was like yeah but Kamek uh, is specifically a male magic Koopa so Kamek is probably trans oh well there's there's your hot lore for tonight folks good night yep <laughs> <laughs> And uh, we're going to now not touch that with a 20-foot pole, but I just wanted to bring it up. There you go. (laughs) Oh, hey, this is a water level. Eh, kind (laughs) of. I don't don't even know what that means. Uh, I'm not not sure where you're going with that one, but okay. It's kind of fun, so it's less of a water level. Yeah, it's, it's a good water level called Lake Bodum. Named after the band Children of Bodum? Child of Bodum? One of those names. It's a metal band. I don't... Just, I don't know much like about me- metal. Yeah, Jez is the person who knows metal music. We we do not. I like... I like, uh, Mumford. I, I like Mumford and Sons. I like alt-pop. Because I am literally the most hipster person in the world. Uh, actually, Juz is a uh, guitarist in an, a metal band. Isn't it like? <laughs> Good Lord, Juz! <laughs> there were murders Whoa! back in the day. Similar. Spud, no! <laughs> That wasn't Spud, that was the one below Spud. I looked away from the screen. (laughs) No, dude. It wasn't Spud. He was framed. He was framed. I got juzzled. I think you did get juzzled. Once again. Once again. 
Once again, you are finding yourself juzzled. Uh, by the way, when you play Kaizo, you're never safe. Don't look away from the screen. Yeah, that's generally not good. Um, can confirm. I am, uh... I am, uh, a sad girl on this blessed day. I'm a sad grill. Okay, there we go. That was neat. Yay. Good hack. No, this dolphin's turned into coins. Yeah. It's ter that's terrible. Cash rules everything around me. Damn. Cream, baby. <laughs> All right, Cemetery Bloom. This is the introduction to the let's turn every trick into a throw block jump in this hack. There's a good so section. Throw block jumps. Yep, that's, there's a good section the of the hack. That's the subtitle of Invictus. Invictus, oops, all throw block jumps. Oh. Little known fact. Yep. Uh, it's not particularly bad here, but then you get to the next couple levels and it's like, why are there two or three uh, throw block jumps in this level? They make me sad. <laughs> I'm going to tell you the exact throw block jump that Barb gave up speedrunning this game when we get there. Yay! <laughs> but uh, these are, as you can tell, I think, custom boo circles. Uh, and this is actually three big boo circles. And this is the most annoying jump in the world. <laughs> uh, that, that fishing boo is there because... Uh, Nexus told Juz jokingly to put a fishing boo in his hack, and so he just <laughs> made it a really, really short part. Oh, yeah, oh good lord. I thought, I thought you were just gonna go for the door. <laughs> no, I'm not that person. <laughs> oh, we're not, we're not doing an Arisen here? Okay. Sounds good. I, uh, I like strats that have more than a 2% chance to work. Never tell me the odds. Only the evens? Yes. Oh, hey, Undertale. Wow, Undertale music and Invictus? Shabda, how are you going through this boo cloud? I am upset. Oh, yeah. Uh, those boo things, when uh, they spawn on screen, they have a hitbox. If they are one of the ones that spawn off screen, because they still fill up the entire sub-level... Uh, or scroll on the entire sub-level, uh, they do not have a hitbox. Right, go left in this level. Yeah. I always go right. Uh, this is, uh, this is a German level. It's, uh, uh, German for the tree. Yep. That's, that's just the lore. My, my split name for this level is unoriginal level name, or unoriginal split name. Yeah, so like, okay. <laughs> so many good level names in this hack, right? And then Why you get a die, die tree. tree. Why yep. die tree? Makes me sad. But yeah, sky off, tree is... Off no puns. This is a uh, well-used uh, trope level type in, uh, in Kaizo hacks. The tree... Uh, or really anything at this point that you have to like make sure uh, continues to grow or move through the level or that you have to catch up with. It is, in fact, a sky tree. Sorry. It's a sky tree. Thanks, Barb. <laughs> but uh, then well, we have. Welcome, Shavda. Thanks. We have a little. Here it is. That's the uh, throw block Barb quit on, right? That's the th yep. That's the throw block the Barb quit on. Yay. <laughs> um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, that second half is a little bit more of a, of a unique take on it, which I really enjoy. Same. The, I like the, the second, second half. half that... Yeah. Yep. So good. First half makes me sad. Uh, second half <laughs> then then makes me happier. Uh, this is the cutest level in the hack for the first half. The second half is actually something that I uh, cry about at night before I go to sleep. You should 
probably talk to someone about that. I'm concerned. I do. I talk oh. to Juz. <laughs> I don't- I don't think Jez is that kind of medical professional, dear. I mean, we said- Yeah, okay. Fair. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with that. Um, but yeah. So, you're supposed to find out that that secret is up there when you hit the message block at the end of the level. But, uh, I have played this game at least once before, so I know that it's there right away. This isn't the blind playthrough? Uh, whoa, you can still do that. Judds, you need to fix those platforms. I don't know if you know this. This is the same <laughs> thing in Algae's ha hey, the underground. Hey. Those those are enemies. They are actually boo platforms. Jingly hack, friend. Jingly hack, friend. And actually, Algae did not realize that they did that until I playtested and and uh, uh, accidentally died in the yeah. very last part of the boss. If, if you want this to be fixed, you'll be waiting a, while, a long time because this is neat. This 1.1 isn't even on SMW Central. You gotta dig through months and months of things on Jez's Discord to find this. Hey, look, more throw block jumps. <laughs> it's all throw block jumps. There is no Invictus 2, there is only the prequel. I mean, there is that troll level that's Invictus too, right? Nice spawn. Good. Oh. Is it pinned? I don't know. What wasn't, wasn't pinned when I checked. But you couldn't find it, so I had to give you my file. <laughs> right. Yes. <laughs> Let's wait a second on that guy. Oh my good gosh. Wow. Okay. No, that made sense. Sure. Uh, yes, Cloudy. Invictus, oops, I'll throw black jumps. Shoved it is sad. Uh, the, the prequel is actually going to be called... You cut out slightly at the end there. Was it going to be called? Uh, how shoved it became sad. Oh, yeah. No, there you go. That, that's, your, that's your lore for tonight. <laughs> Uh, so this is also working on a trope in Kaizo where you go back into the pipe and it takes you to the real ending in a switch balance. Except Juz was like, let's just take it to 11 there, mate. And uh, you have to go back through that like four or five times. I don't know. I just look for the arrows. Well, I'm, I'm really glad this trope is basically dead after Invictus. I cannot yump. <laughs> the double nump. Wow. Glitch Cat just rolled over in his bed. Jeez. He's having bad dreams because he missed a yump. No, I know. I just was I was expecting grave still, but then you no, said bed and I was like, that's just an accurate description. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I also um this level's cute. I don't like most of the jumps here at the beginning, including that one and that fish. And then the second half has the bumpties, which should not be put in a Kaizo hack ever. And we'll see them when we get to them. But so this hack is kind of, or this level is kind of like hard to. You one shot it. What are you complaining about? You know one how many times I. Half. I didn't, I didn't one shot it the other thousand times I played it. Yeah, well, you know, what, what do you want from me? These are bumpties. You you hit them and they bumpty you. Why did they call them bumpties when you? Okay, no. <laughs> ah, I tried it. They are cute, but uh, cute Everyone does not mean says that. Everyone always says that when I complain about the bumpties. Oh, they're so cute. Look deeper. Beauty is more than skin deep. They they have an evil waiting in their hearts. I mean, all right. I wasn't going to go that far, but okay. <laughs> um, where do we go from here on that one? 
Uh, I hate this jump. <laughs> Meg, I do not want to hug the bumpies. You oh, hey, don't want to hug. Hey, an added what? troll that <laughs> I jumped way too early on. <laughs> oh, oh, that, that trolls. Was like, that was like Chekhov's gun. I can't believe I set that up for you for the for the second act. Shouldn't it be the third act? Sure, I understand things. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I hugged the Bumpty and it threw me off a cliff. What do you want? <laughs> oh, I should probably have streamer mode on, huh? For what? I did not have streamer mode on. <laughs> Wait, for Discord? For Discord, yes. <laughs> oh. So what? Uh, ding. <laughs> what do you think I was talking about? I don't know. I was very confused because <laughs> I did not hear a bidding. Well, you wouldn't hear the bidding, no. Well, then why does it matter? <laughs> wow! <laughs> I can't believe you've done this. Yeah. Ham. Wow, I could have mildly annoyed so many people. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay, we wait a second. Hit the jump there, and then go under. Um, sure, love waiting in, sure love waiting in my Kaizo hack. That's my favorite. What is this, made by Chris G? Seriously. Now you're just going to put a Kaizo block in every jump. Yep. Yeah, too bad there's no Kaiza blocks in this hack. It... Yep. No Kaiza blocks. Alright, this is Rise um... Again, which is probably the jankiest uh, chocolate mechanic, but it's also the... That was good. Uh, the spot where we finally get introduced to some heavier chocolate ASM, which is the language that Mario is written in. So as you can see, I can jump out of the air. And you can do like one jump. I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. Know. <laughs> I don't know why that throw always does that to me. Like. So, so the double jump levels tend to be somewhat counterintuitive because like as, as a Kaizo player, you are trained to do your jumps a certain way. And, uh, double jump levels, take that all away. Yep. There's, uh, what are called re-grabs in Mario World, which means that once you're, whoops, once you're in the air, you, uh, can press jump again, hold jump again, to, uh, like, slow fall, to lower your maximum velocity falling as well as your acceleration. And uh, with this ASM, you can only uh, sp uh, do a re-grab the before the peak of your jump, I believe. Afterwards, it just becomes the second jump for... Okay, there we go. For the, uh, for the first of the two jumps. Also, that jump at the end is awful because it's hard to tell where the peak of your jump is and then time that perfectly. I'm sorry. That's just a fact on that one. That's that's just science. Look at this Carl is a, on that one. This is a lovely hack. I love so much of it. There's a reason I'm playing it, but that jump is it makes me sad. There's something to be said about I really really I tacos. I really love the second half of this level. Yeah. Uh, but there's something to be said about speed running a thing that you love. And then finding all the like the minor flaws in it because you've played it so much. Yep. And then you just are driven up the wall by it. <laughs> uh, there's a rule, especially in like Mario 64 and Super Mario speedrunning, that uh, you're not really a speedrunner of it until you hate the game. Which is why I will, I will never speedrun this game. She likes it too I've, much. I, I love this hack too much to want to speedrun it. <laughs> yep. Well, you occasionally do some casual, like, no camic like runs. Yeah, I like to play through it. I also but love I, that I it's a no camic run. run. <laughs> yeah, the no camic runs, yep. 
I have literally shut down. If you look at my files, uh, on my on uh, my completed my quote unquote completed files on my uh, copy of Invictus on my SD to SNES, uh, they all end before the credits. <laughs> so this level, um, I call Carl's Lab. Oh, no, um, you're gonna say the thing. No, 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 I'm not. Um, okay, thank you. <laughs> it's got vertical screen ramp. As we saw horizontal before, this uh, when you go above the level, you pop back up below it, and vice versa. And uh, Juz, this is this is one of my favorite levels in the hat. Juz I, makes I, a really good use of that, and I adore this level. One of the things that Juz does best as a creator is teaches you how to work with different mechanics, and this level, the beginning with the Rex, is absolutely like the perfect little oh this is how this works and then he progressively makes it more and more complex so if we have a oh. window yep i've got a 23 dollar donation from meg mac attack that simply asks have you read lord of the rings no, oh, that's Grandpa World One. Yeah. Uh, I can't. Can we talk about respecting the lore, though? What? Come on. That's Grandpa World One, not Invictus. Respect the lore. I suppose. Uh, the joke is for Fangorn <laughs> in uh, uh, the message block where you start at the checkpoint. It just says, "Have you read the Lord of the Rings yet?" Which is for. Uh, Pooh, but with Grand Pooh World 1, uh, your checkpoints can only spawn you in the main sub-level of the map, or of the level, and, uh, whoops, uh, that was great. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was impressive. Um, that was an impressive save until it wasn't anymore. Yep. And then again, and then again! <laughs> I'm not even sure what. What? <laughs> I'm not even sure what that death was. There we go. Um, this is the freaking uh, ha uh, one. This yep. is the freaking ha boss. Yeah. I think so. We're not allowed to shout out freaking ha anymore because he he is he is streamed. He no longer needs shout outs. It is forbidden. Right, I'm, gonna go for the, I'm gonna go for the fast rat since I've already died like 20 times. That was the fast strat. It, it was over before it started. Just getting that first jump in. There we go. I was going to say, oh yeah, because it always spawns you in the first sub-level. Um, you, you spawn under that message box every time you restart after the checkpoint and then go into a pipe and f try the level again. So when I played through Grand Pooh World 1, I just repeatedly hit it every time I spawned and read it out loud. <laughs> uh, this is the worst part of all exits because you have to get this exit up here with... Oops, not you. This key jump. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of message boxes... Oh, first try. Nice. Yeah. Uh, I practiced before the run. Nice. It's, uh, it's at least... So it's the worst part of all exits, but it's at least better than any percent having to key jump over that entire thing. I am. Yep. Although I have been told the key jumps are free and those people are currently banned in my chat. Third wall still banned in your chat? Sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Practice is cheating. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. We're yeah, all cheaters here. Let's play. I mean, we are playing. Oh. Got well, her. That's fair. Yep. Now I'm the buffoon. This is a queer let's play. <laughs> By the way, let's talk about ROM hacking and queerness. I believe that ROM hacking as a deconstruction and reconstruction of a video game is inherently a queer endeavor, um, as well as the fact that uh, the passing of information is non higher hierarchical and passed along folks on the internet through messages 
random DMs, Discord at this point, stuff like that. It is inherently a queer and an abstract sense endeavor. And that's my rant. Haha, <laughs> SMW go for... Oh my gosh, I cannot do that spin jump right now. Uh, this is Kamek Woods. It's the beginning of the last section of this hack. Um, it is it's kind of annoying in a speed run. As you can see, just because, like, I don't even know why. It's just kind of annoying. Is it because trying to spin jump off of the Kamek? I don't know. Uh, Kamek has a narrow, a, a more narrow hitbox than you would imagine. He is kind of a large sprite, but the hitbox is actually like uh, kind of narrow compared to the actual sprite. Also, can we talk about Kamek nomenclature? What? So, uh, in, so in Super Mario World, there are Magic Koopas. Yes. We, we, right. We, in, but, uh, it's only in the US, uh, SMW version and in, uh, that they are called Magic Koopas. Literally everywhere else they are called Kamex. So Kamek, uh, is, uh, his proper name is Kamek and he is also a Kamek. Also, confusingly, in Mario Maker 2, uh, they are both in the uh, in the uh, U.S. version. They are called both uh, Magic Koopas and Kamex. Huh. Yep. Good times. That was good. That was the best death. That is actually the first time that's ever happened. But um... you saw it here first, folks. And second, probably. We'll see. Some, so, you know, sometimes you get a death that you've never seen before, and then you just keep doing it. <laughs> yep. It's like your soul just wants to re-experience it because it was so jarring. It's like naming your, it's like naming your child human. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my dear lord. As you can see, I just uh, jumped through Kamek's face. <laughs> Speaking of Kamek's hitbox. It's no face. Okay, that's no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can actually finish this level now. And then we can get to the fun ones. You know what's kind of understated about this level is I think it uh, has a nice sort of uh, forebo sort of like foreboding feeling about taking on Kamek. Yeah, like, no, uh, yeah. I like yeah. the music. It really sets up uh, the feeling uh, of, yeah. a, of a battle upcoming. I like yeah, it. It definitely, definitely we're in Kamek's world. Okay, moving on to Stellar, and as we found out tonight, the song for this level is titled Stellar. Cool. Which is to say, just wow. You were you were doing so well with the level names. Yeah. I believed in you. Well, no, you weren't. You had Die Tree. Never mind. I take it back. Wow. That was a uh, burn. Raise the bar for Kaizo's storytelling? Yeah, I can see that. Oh, I'm an idiot. Am I allowed to say oh. that on the stream? Oh, you probably shouldn't, but hey. Right. It's out there now. I was trying so hard not to, like, curse or anything that I, uh, just went with that. Y'all should know, if you check out my- How about a buffoon? I've been using that one a lot lately. A buffin? Yeah, <laughs> not bufflin, no. No, buffin. Oh. 
You're a bassoon. Wow. Oh yeah, content warning my stream if you ever come check it out. PG. Um, this is actually uh, half the work of me streaming on a marathon is not being me. <laughs> <laughs> That's not quite true. Nah. You are uh, you are still yourself even without the uh, mostly colorful language. Yep. In there. Yay! Uh, this level in my splits is called Sharp Nose because of this. Moles. Moles. I don't like mega moles. That you do not. Hey, look, a throw block jump. You thought I was kidding. And a Charles Gate. Hey, I have a question. Yep. Are they uh, free? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was just gonna ask why he no jump, but okay. Why? Sure. Why football man no jump? Why, why hey, this is a post. No jump. Look, I had to press R again. By the way, it's R and L to turn the switch blocks on and off. Joe's troll at the end there is to press R again after the end of the level. Uh, this is the most famous song in ROM hacking? Other than Bloody it's, Tears? Yeah, other than Bloody Tears, yeah. It's kind of weird uh, at this point that it was not a completely stale trope when Jez put this in the ROM one in, in Invictus. Yeah, also the gimmick <laughs> of this level and kind of the main gimmick that they're building up to, wow that was bad, is, is uh, motor skills uh, made originally by Morsel, the person who created uh, Thorks, as we mentioned before. Um, and what that does, motor skills, is you can switch your jump in midair between a regular jump and a spin jump. And so you can see Mario going back and forth there. That was the warm-up. Uh, I hope this Thwimp is nice to me today because he has not been nice lately. What is going on on stream? Hang on. <laughs> what is the content warning? <laughs> wow, Zoe. What? I'll tell you after uh after you finish the section. That's not good. Wimp, don't fail me now. Good. Wow, the shell took me. Oh. oh. It's Sans Kaizo. I feel like answering that seriously. <laughs> May as well be, right? That's not a noise I expected. I would, I, you know what? We'll, we'll put Sans as Kaiza, sure. Mark, 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 Mark Sans as Kaiza. You, you, it. you may have noticed I actually, whoops, sp uh, spin jumped uh, through the pipe because that bottom part of the pipe is a um, tile, or it's actually just like air, I believe. It's just there for appearances. I'm doing this terribly. This is the floss boss. If you look closely, you can tell that the ball and chains look like the boss is flossing the dance. Not, you know what, either one, but the dance flossing is what hey, I'm thinking of. I, I feel like it's slightly understated, but you, that is, that section, the second section to uh, uh, the this level, is probably the hardest section in the game, and you just blew by it, and I that was super impressive. Oh, uh -huh. thanks. I just wanted to point that out to uh, to chat. <laughs> GG. Right, we're not done yet. We got two more levels. Uh, the next level is Koopa Road, yep. which is also known as 
Wow, my video of my Invictus playthrough got a copyright strike. <laughs> <laughs> because this, uh... This level is, or this music, from Mario 64, and before Nintendo uh, stopped trying so hard on the copyright stuff, um, this music would get flagged because it's so faithful to the original. Yeah. Oh, well. I did that. I saw that coming. Uh oh. But yeah, this is a fairly short level. It's meant to be a little bit break before the the last level. That said, um, that's not the case in the speed run because when you're trying to go fast, it just ugh. At the time, it was Nintendo, Meg. Nintendo has since changed its policies on on that. But now you get uh, folks like the the Guinness Book of World Records putting holds on. Uh, uh, SMB1 speedruns. Shoutouts to Cosmic. I actually didn't know that. I, I knew that the castle music had some DJ who yeah, sampled it. Yeah, that was just, uh, I just saw that on Twitter before the run. Yeah. Co Cosmic had all his SMB1, uh, uh, videos flagged by the Guinness Book of World Records. Neat. Yeah. <laughs> That makes sense. Yeah, no, yeah. If you actually think about it, like, really deeply, no, it doesn't make sense at all. I don't know what happened with the overworld, but suddenly cut off everywhere. Oh, you got- Oh, you got it! You, you got- you got the glitchy overworld. That perfect. happens every- every time I do this, I don't know. Perfect. This is perfect for this- for this marathon. I'm so happy that that happened. To the three enemies that are in the game, just to- <laughs> Yep. <laughs> Imagine, imagine being stationed there by Kamek, just so Mario could get to the end and you just had to stand there forever and be jumped on. Bad job. Uh, so this level mixes uh, the motor skills, the A, B, switch, jump in the air, and uh, switching the on, off blocks together. So if you look at my input display, you'll see I am doing a lot of things all at once. Sure are. Nice. You got kind of caught in the ceiling there. That was weird, but GG. <laughs> Thank you. I'm humming. I'll stop. Thank you. Woo! It's the first time I've ever one-shot that level. Hey, shout-outs to the Nakaiza block. Uh, and now we're going to spend 20 minutes here as I uh, try to remember how to do this. But yeah, this is the Kamek fight. Um, it's fun the first time. I do not enjoy it in the speedrun very much because it's just kind of a solved problem. That said, I'm still going to die because I'm bad, but everything is just like, it's it's the same thing over and over. Long fight. Um, shoutouts to this shell. As I found out earlier tonight while practicing for this, if you... Um, start the level from the midway, you will actually get a different shell speed on that Fabulous. throw. Yep. Great, great feature. I approve. I uh, believe it was unintentional. Oh, yeah. No, for sure. Probably. 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 Most likely. I yeah. I don't know at this point. Who knows? We'll figure it out. One day. Oh boy. Uh, uh oh. No. I'm sad. Oh uh, my soul. <laughs> oh, that was actually physically painful. That happens. It happens. You can die after uh, hitting Kamek with the shell. That's cool. 
feature. I mean, we saw it with Kaiser 3 Bowser. Like, that's <laughs> just that's just the name of the game. Yeah. You gotta kill him and survive. Yeah. Technically, Grand Blue World 2 Bowser can kill you after uh, you get the last hit, too. So. Sh Shoutouts to Laser Belch. Shoutouts to Laser Belch. Who I think died in two different ways after he got eight hits on Bowser. <laughs> there you go. What am I doing? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Uh, so... This boss fight makes me sad. <laughs> you got this. I believe. Maybe eventually. We'll see. know how to play uh how to play these rom games uh there is a handy guide on smw central which i uh heartily recommend by the way i do a little late jump into that swing there one because the ground coming up so quickly can kill you by clipping you into it and two because that disco shell will stay um oops oh yeah it sure will that happened to me a few times on my first play through yeah, none of that should have worked. Uh, uh, uh? <laughs> okay, now I'm really sad. Oh, sweetheart. Oh. This boss, uh, each attempt takes over a minute. It's really nice, right? Super Mario World, but it is uh, a modified version of it. A very heavily modified version. <laughs> ba, 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 ba. By the way, the music gets really loud here. Said it's, like it's a concert supposed, chapter. It's supposed to simulate a concert. You're just supposed to put in your ear. In, in your earplugs and uh, <laughs> enjoy the show. Oops. That was good. Well, hopefully I can actually finish this run now. I was saying this uh this fight is very deterministic uh theoretically if you did the exact same things every time you wouldn't uh you know it would be the same fight every time but, you know yeah and, and all that yeah and you'll see variations on that as long as i the way i want to both the same outcome every time um, same thing with the disco shell part. Same thing with uh, the the bullet bills that shoot fire in the middle of the fight. Um, but it's also harder um, during the falling platforms to keep it as consistent because of Kamek uh, follows your Y position. And so, you you can be at many different points in your jump. Nope. What's the what's the time? Uh, don't don't. Yeah, don't. 
Don't worry about it. You got this. Just finish it out. It's over an hour, isn't it? <laughs> Look, it all I'm going to say really is that matter. we don't have any other runners to worry about for yeah. tonight. Just go for it. Finish it up. You got this. I've done this loads of times. Can we see some love in the chat, please, for Shabda? This fight is really freaking hard, by the way. This took me, I think, six hours to clear on my first playthrough. This is no joke whatsoever. Especially in a marathon. Kaizo in marathons is inherently a risky venture. <laughs> Just because things can go so wrong. Uh... Death loops, unexpected things, etc. So like, this stuff is really hard, and I am, uh, I'm really, I'm really proud to, uh, to help showcase this. I actually just did not see that fireball there. Where? I didn't see that fireball either. <laughs> what on earth? I, I, I am going to disagree with that one, actually. I have officially disagreed with this. My complaint letter is in the mail, Juz. Did you just mark the address down as Australia? Hey, don't call me out like this in front of all these people. I can't believe this. Oh, don't worry. When I sent him fan mail, I just put Southern Hemisphere. <laughs> it's really, it's, it's, it's kind of, it's kind of not great when you uh, want to send Jez a letter and ends up in like, Philippines. Good. <laughs> oh no. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Okay, Kamek. Okay, Kamek. How did the I'm going to drink some coffee real quick. Let me take a death. Yo, take a take a sip of coffee. Chill. Hey chat, how's it going? That was a cup of coffee. Hey chat, did you know that you're good and nice? Hey chat, did you know that for this event we're raising funds for the Trevor Project, an American nonprofit organization that focuses on efforts among lesbian transgender, queer and questioning people under 25 years old. It operates the Trevor Financial Service that offers trained counselors through a toll-free number. The Trevor Project is committed to producing research that brings new knowledge and clinical implications to the field of suicidology and also advocates for laws and policies that will reduce suicide among LGBTQ plus young people. We're delighted to support this invaluable, life-affirming This is not an emulator. <laughs> it may as well be with how I'm playing Kappa. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh. <laughs> no, um, but yeah, no, the Trevor Project and what we're raising is infinitely more important than the uh, 
the time on any given run or the presentation of any run, um, please do consider donating because uh, it's a life-saving endeavor. And it's, you know, something that's near and dear to my, and I believe most of the showrunners hearts being queer folks ourselves yeah the trevor project holds a very special place in my heart yeah oh no tjp we're not getting that discussion Whoa! Wrong jump. Oh. Whew. So when we uh, started the fight, and I, uh, I said this might take twenty minutes. Uh, here we are. <laughs> I'm just glad you. I'm just glad to be here with you. Thank you for inviting me. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. Dum, dum, ba, dum. Fun fact, this weekend while practicing, I uh, two PBs that would have been over five minutes uh, to this fight. And... <laughs> Sorry, I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing at something just said in chat. Oh, no, I see it. Um, <laughs> I'll answer that in a sec. You finish up. <laughs> what was I going to say? I interrupted. Um, My apologies. No, you're good. I'm in a brain fog now because of the uh, death loop. Oh, um... It tilts me just. <laughs> oh! I'm bad at memorization. So, like... Getting down all the muscle memory necessary to do the full minute of the fight is oh is not a uh, is not my forte. <laughs> oh yeah, what I was gonna say is uh, in my PB I actually one shot. Believe it or not, now, I, but uh, I've lost two five plus minute PBs. Uh, to this fight and there will be a time I get a new PB because I one shot this and it'll be like 10 minutes or something like that uh, uh, that's normally how Kaizo PBs go yeah like, uh, Amethyst once had a 20 minute PB I had a 22 minute PB yeah <laughs> Grand Pool World 2. That was wild. <laughs> you got this, dear. I am just flailing at this point.
Oh my god. Yeah, apparently I have completely forgotten how to... Those of you who have just joined us, welcome to Undefined Behavior, a showcase and speedrunning marathon centered around querying in games. For this marathon, we're exploring glitchy, unusual, and marathon unsafe runs, as well as adjacent and related queer gaming content. We queer games when we reject limits and rules, when we play in atypical ways, and when we read diversity. This is the very first Undefined Behavior Marathon, and we're so excited to share all these games and showcases with you. And can we just get a shout out to Winner and Commentator? Because y'all have had me in stitches all night. I, I have been told that we have a good rapport on occasion. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Shuff, do you're concentrating, you don't have to talk. Yeah, you're fine, Shuff. Do your thing. But yeah, if, if you like Kaizo uh, <laughs> and want to see uh, another really hard ROM game, I am playing uh, Grand Pooh World 2 tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow afternoon. So, uh, if you want to see an even more difficult uh, game than this. I, I would recommend tuning in. Uh, it should be something approximating fun, I think. As fun as this can be, I suppose. I mean, I'm having a blast, so... I'm having a Baja blast. Gotta stay caffeinated, especially at these late hours. All I'm saying is, like, the fact... I, I, I'm just saying that I'm really happy that Baja blast comes in the bottles now, okay? You don't have to go to Taco Bell to get the Baja blast. Like, I'm definitely more... Stuff. I'm definitely more of a classic man and Dew girl, but I respect the Baja Blast believers. You gotta, you gotta respect Baja. It's, it's, uh, uh, what did, uh, I, I've heard it described as tasting like it has vodka in it, but it doesn't actually have vodka in it. That should just straight up be their new slogan. Shoutouts to GlitchCat7 for saying that, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> no Silver Moon, this isn't Free Enterprise. Baja Blast Gaming, what is this?
recently found out there was also a uh, Mountain Dew Zero for the uh, for the for the Zero fans. Not Diet Mountain Dew, which has existed, but uh, the, the Mountain Dew Zero for uh, fans of 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 uh, things like Coke Zero. I do love some Coke Zero as well. Nice. Uh, Baja Blast, but the caffeine wrecks your stomach. Yeah, I drink too much caffeine. I am drinking my third monster of the day. I am not well. Let's not talk about how many cans of Classic Mountain do you I today. Let's just yeah, not. Uh, I've been up for a while. <laughs> and I am not usually up at 5.30 a.m. These, uh, <laughs> these are shoved to hours. And speaking of, um, do we have time for a quick donation? Yep. Please do. We have $20 from Outland Coupler, uh, who... Sorry, Output Coupler, my bad. Uh, who didn't leave a comment, but put that money towards uh, ditching Yoshi in Grand Pooh World 2. Oh, Cur wow. Currently, ditching Yoshi is only... Saving Yoshi in Grand Blue World 2. Um, oh, you broke up a little bit on the totals. What was that? So, Saving Yoshi is at $23. Okay. Ditching Yoshi is at $20. Oh, man. If that's, you want to, a, to leave biter. Yoshi behind, get your donations in now. If you don't want me to leave Yoshi in the hot, hot lava, make sure to, leave, uh, to, to donate to the Trevor Project. Additionally, we are at $43 out of the 800 required for Enchantress of Numbers to enable Uki Mode when she does her play of Tetris the Grand Master, which is basically... What if... UBB, if, uh, if, if killing Yoshi wins, I will taunt Yoshi. How's that? I'll give, I'll give the fans something special. <laughs> so, Amethyst, I have to ask... Um, if how much time does saving the Yoshi lose? It's really negligible how much time saving Yoshi takes. The big risk you take with saving Yoshi is uh, if there's the very last thing, yeah, the very last thing you do in Grand Pool World 2 is go up an up pipe. Uh, Longtime fans of Super Mario World and associated ROM games will know that uh, jumping up into an up pipe is one of the most annoying things you can do because sometimes you just bounce off of it because it's a very narrow, very narrow comparatively to the width of the pipe place you can jump into the pipe. So uh, if you if you ditch Yoshi, you can have depending on when you get there. Uh, you can have, like, two chances to get into the up pipe, uh, if, if uh, you mess up your first time. Uh, saving Yoshi, you best get into that up pipe <laughs> the first time, or you'll do the whole, uh, whole final section all over again. Oh dear. <sighs> oh, who did I- uh-oh, can someone undo that, please? <laughs> I don't know what I just hit on my keyboard. my number pad. <laughs> Imagine accidentally hitting the wrong button. Like, who does that? I know, right? Some sort of, like, scrub lord. Or lady. Or, a uh, scrub person. NB scrubs are valid. Yo, NB scrubs are super valid. Oh. 
Or like wow, him. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm about ready just to call it. All right. You done? Uh, one more attempt. Ridiculously hard. <laughs> I am. Yeah. Six hours on my end, UBB. It is a no choke boss, especially in a marathon setting. I think we can all agree with the f final assertion that, you know, Kaizo hard. Kaizo's very hard. I took up Kaizo. I, I, so I didn't talk, uh, exactly D2. It's exactly. This is, uh, Kaizo can turn out to be very marathon unsafe. No TJV bad. No Kaizo hard. Uh, <laughs> there's no mid-airs here. Chill. Oh my gosh. Yeah, okay, we're done. I can't do it. Okay, Chef. Thank you. GG. That GG, was chef. a really admirable attempt. Thank you, Chef. Appreciate it. You did wonderful. Uh, thanks for having me, everybody. Sorry about that. You did great. Thanks, sweetheart. Yeah. But like, like we said, game hard. It's also super late. Um, I've got one final nation. Uh, Twenty dollars that says ditching Yoshi is the obvious choice. Shout out to Amethyst and um, and do either of you shout outs before we let you all get rich sleep yeah um I'm gonna I mean obviously I, I think Shub's gonna go to bed soon but um shout outs to Shubda who's one of my closest friends that I've met uh here on the twitch.tv and one of my closest friends in general I am truly thankful for uh for everything that she's done to me since I've since I've known her. Um, shout out to Juz. I was gonna I was gonna say this, but like this uh, this ROM hack got me into this crazy stuff. I love I love Invictus. I love Kaizo. It means the world to me. And shout outs to Juz for putting together one of my favorite hacks. Um, and yeah, and shout outs to all y'all. Thanks for hanging out. I really appreciate everything.